Good evening everybody. It's been a little while hasn't it really? This has been out for a run at night. And uh, also what I've planned to do is, I want to try and take the stress off of running on the hard pavement. So tonight as an example, I've decided to come down to my local park, a very local park that I never actually run at at all. And I'm spending my time on the grass. The idea being that I needed somewhere really, really local to me that I could run at regardless of the weather. Now, my local park run route is actually probably a better option to be honest with you, but it involves me getting in the car and traveling a good 10 minutes to get there, which I don't really want to do. I want to be a little bit independent. I want to be able to just get out the door, get dressed and get rolling. So that's the idea of tonight's experimental jog. With the weather that we've been having recently, the ground is generally speaking pretty squashy, pretty squishy. And in that respect, probably not that great for stability underfoot, but it is softer. So I'm taking my chances this evening just to get a measure of what this surf is actually like, you know, on a typical day. And uh, I'll make a call afterwards about whether it's just easier to cut my losses and use a treadmill because I'm now just being quite conscious of ensuring that I keep healthy, keep fit, keep strong and don't do unnecessary damage to myself by running out surfaces which are not appropriate or suitable. So one of the immediate problems I face is the fact that this is quite a small park which means I've got to do nearly two loops for one kilometre. Um, you know, in principle, no big deal, right? But it's a bit monotonous and it's not really as varied as, and as exciting as I would like. Tonight I'm doing about 5k, but if you start getting to like 10k, ugh, that needs to be a bit more of a route or just treadmill, game on, headphones in, get down to business so like I say tonight is just having a go seeing what's out there for me and uh, yeah, just not overthinking it just enjoy being out in the fresh air it's about one degree right now so pretty chilly well just ran past a fox that looked like to be the size of a lion so just looking back to see if it's gonna pace me or chase me or neither ah nature okay run complete fantastic about 26 minutes or so in the books so what I decided to do by the way just at the very end of that run is uh, just take a little bit of uh, pavement for a couple hundred metres and uh, it's so interesting how I'm running on surface which is as it turns out due to the nature of the park the lower half of the park where the gradient is downhill was really boggy really really muddy and so sorry I'm just bashing my, the mud off my shoes and so that meant that obviously as I'm starting to descend, which is also in itself quite interesting because it means I get to kind of attack the downhill slightly more. I don't mean you know, aggressively running at it, but it's soft terrain. I'm able to move down quite freely without worrying too much. As I reach the bottom, it's a little bit boggy. But my point being, I managed to just over 4K or so I took to the tarmac and it's at that point I realised just how unforgiving it is. It was noticeable after running for 25 minutes or so that just taking to the tarmac for a few hundred metres was actually really, really hard going on my legs. It just felt noticeably more difficult, um, not in terms of the ability to run, just in terms of the fact that your legs are just 
you know, basing it against really firm concrete and uh, they've just got no give, no give whatsoever. And I hadn't really thought about that before or noticed it before. But um, the other part of it as well is that the pavements around where I live are very slick and it's um, basically downhill. So that means that in these icy conditions we've got at the moment, it's treacherous, absolutely treacherous. And so I don't see how I'd actually realistically throughout this winter period be able to run safely on the roads. Now, last year I did manage it of sorts, but I wasn't running particularly far and I wasn't really that aware, I suppose, of the dangers of it either. So I was just going out there and just running kind of aimlessly. But this time around, I will be utilizing treadmill, long runs at the weekend on trail-based terrain. I'm just doing, yeah, starting to build up now. More or less doing a sort of a 5k to 10k couch to 5k situation and just slowly over time building up to 60k for the event and yeah, we'll have some fun with it. So thanks for tuning in. I don't actually know how much of that last bit you could see because I didn't put a light on. Whoops. So thank you again and I will catch up with you soon. I've got something cool happening at the weekend. It won't be uploaded at the weekend but uh, when I get back I'll uh, show you what I'm getting up to. It should be, it should be excellent. See you soon.